All right, we want to take a minute here. We're going to talk and show bending on compression benders, the difference between traditional smooth radius dies and wrinkle control dies. The reason for a wrinkle control die is to bend a thinner wall material or light, a harder material such as stainless steel. So we're going to start, and we're going to bend with a five inch radius and we're going to work our way down into smaller radiuses. So we'll start with a traditional five inch compression die. Sixty-five wall, two-inch diameter, aluminized material. This would be a normal bend that you would get out of this type of a bender and normal tooling. It's a nice smooth bend. We're going to take all these bends to 100 to 125 degrees. Just a little bit of grease in the dies just because it's the first time we're running. This will all come out within a couple bends. But every occasionally, every now and then, you want to add a little lubricant to your, especially to your back shoe side. So now we'll make the same bend moving from an 065 to an 049 stainless steel. same bend with the control wrinkle die. traditional dock tube and controlling it with a controlled wrinkle. So now we'll move into a four inch and we'll make a comparison there.
here's the 4 inch traditional and here it is with the material control by the die. So now we'll move in for the next size smaller and the smallest size which is a 3 inch radius. traditional 4 inch radius and here it is in a 3. Just a little tighter but basically it's distorted the same. So now we'll move into the control wrinkle. difficult to do because it's a much larger material. And as your diameter grows, you want your wall thickness to grow in order to bend it in a compression style bender. So we're going to load our traditional 5 inch radius die into this machine. This is our model 2600 heavy duty machine. It has more power and the other difference is it'll allow a 6 inch radius die to pass through it. A traditional machine only allows a 5 inch radius die to pass through it. So we put in our traditional 5 inch radius die in here. And just like on the other machine, we're going to bend an aluminized piece of 3 inch. This is an 80 thousandths wall to 079 thousandths wall. This piece of material you can bend on this machine or a traditional machine. So this is what you should expect of this material in any machine. It's a nice bend. Now we'll move into bending with the same tooling of O59 stainless steel. Very thin wall for the diameter material is. luck bending this than we did the other materials we have. You can see how this really mutilates it and it actually starts to suck the outside wall in So now we'll bend the same material with the control wrinkle. Now this control wrinkle is also a six inch diamond. That's why we need this machine.
about to die. Quite a difference. So here are examples of how the materials change when you use a control wrinkle die.